We're going to get a southwesterly flow today uh, with wind from that direction, keeping it breezy uh, at times. And uh, that cold front with the next storm, that'll be sliding by later tonight, mainly being a dry front. There might be a few more showers in the far north overnight. Otherwise, behind it, uh, the main impact will be a drop in temperature tomorrow. In fact, that cold front will eventually make its way south across the entire state on Wednesday. But out ahead of it today, we get those winds out of the southwest, which might be gusting above 30 miles per hour. And since it is so dry, that's leading to high fire danger with a red flag warning in effect for uh, much of Washington County. But that warning becomes even more widespread across other parts of uh, southern and even central Utah tomorrow. So we're not going to be out of the woods. Now today, out ahead of that approaching front, the clouds will be increasing. So it's going to look a lot better than it. Uh, excuse me, it's going to feel a lot better than it looks. It'll be mostly cloudy, uh, but with some wind out of the southwest at 10 to 20 miles per hour, our temperature in Salt Lake is going to be climbing near 80. It'll be in the mid 70s in Wendover, uh, upper 60s in Park City. You'll make it up to 78 in Cedar City, 91 in St. George. And in general, mostly cloudy in the north, mostly sunny in the south. We'll split the difference across the central part of the state where it'll become partly cloudy. Be mostly sunny in St. George tomorrow as well as uh, through the rest of the week with temperature gradually climbing. In fact, all the way up into the mid-90s on Friday, it'll stay that way over the weekend. And then on Memorial Day itself, uh, pretty close to that, mostly sunny with a high temperature of 92. So we've got outdoor plans for the long holiday. It's going to be looking good. And in the north, we're not going to get left out. Behind the front tomorrow, it'll be several degrees cooler, but we'll still become sunny and make it into the low 70s. We'll make it back near 80 on Thursday and practically press the pause button. It'll be about that warm all the way through the holiday weekend. It'll become partly cloudy on Saturday and Sunday, and then on Memorial Day, mostly sunny with a high temperature of 81 degrees.